Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Project Day 3. This is uh, brought to you by KD and um, I'm just pleased to be playing with this because we've got some elements to play with today. Kay created a pocket and belly band using a card. Look at this. How cute is this? She put her initial on there, which I love. And then when you open her up, this pocket is filled with just goodies, goodies, goodies. Here's a tag. So cute. Some ephemera. Mushroom tag. Look at that. It's got a really cute little three-dimensional star with glitter. Here is a playing card. Looks vintage by the patina on the back. So pretty. Some more ephemera and happiness blooms from within. And then two more of the stars. Isn't that just cute? Look at that in a butterfly. And then she used um, a cardstock that's got lined paper on the back. So I am in love with this and thought... Let's remake this and see what we can come up with. This, um, I had to kind of play with it because of the heat. It was stuck. I was a little bit afraid of it. It is a playing card. She's got some cool layering there. And this, look at how cute this is. Here's another index card. Isn't that adorable? A uh, fabric tab, a little uh, sticker uh, butterfly, and I would love to see where you get a hold of cards that, that are this small because this little booklet is adorable. You could, with this booklet, add multiple pages and make a little mini journal. So cute. Uh, texture paste on the outside, I think. I think this is decoupage here. I'm pretty sure it's decoupage. Not positive, I'm guessing. Uh, this is a vintage card here. And I don't have any vintage cards, but she used it to make a, uh, a tuck spot. And she used these, I'm trying to figure this out, these dominoes. Guys, this is the coolest thing. They're pretty thick. At first, I thought it was um, regular. There's two of them. This is not just one. There's two of these. At first, I thought it was cardstock that she cut, but and it, and it might be. And then she put it behind or on top of something. I'm not sure, but I love that. I think that's the coolest thing. And then this fits right in there. So we are going to try and recreate this the best that we can. Now, I was going through my stash of, of papers, and the first thing I came, came out with was this. It was already folded, pink cardstock. It's not a card. I don't know what I was going to do with this, but I never used it, and I thought, we're going to use it. I've got cards, but this is what I pulled. I want to let you know, if you have cards, and they're written on, like if somebody sent you a card, just go ahead and you can cover this with um, scrapbook paper, uh, just white computer paper or copy tea dyed paper if you wanted. If this is a side that's written on, you could just cut and place paper here to cover the writing. Uh, you might be able to gesso over that writing so that you can't see it. That would work. Um, if you've got writing up at the top that says like happy birthday or anything like that and you can't use that, you can try gesso. Um, I've not done that, but I don't know why it wouldn't work unless the the uh, words bleed through. You'd have to play with that and see what you can come up with. But um, 
I just, I think this is a great idea. I cut this down to be just about the same size. I am maybe a quarter of an inch longer than this one is, and I don't see wasting that paper, so I'm going to play with what I've got here. I don't have a letter K, but we'll see what we can do. So thank you, Kay, for the inspiration. I think this is going to be adorable. So we can't have it like this, can we? I mean, that's just way too plain. So I pulled a doily and a butterfly. Okay, so trying to get maybe the same type of look. We are going to get this down. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I do have a place there that needs to be cut out. If I do, there's a little bit right there. If I do, I think it might be too late. Let's see. No, I got that. Yeah, here is where I had the glue. I didn't check that beforehand. I probably should have. Let's see if we can pop this out. And of course, yes, it does have glue on it. And now it's glued to me. That's okay. And we want this to look good, right? Okay. So I've got myself a little bit of lap mess there. That's all right. And here I can see Okay, that's going to have to work. That's going to have to do it because I can already feel my glue is drying. Let's... This doesn't look right right here, but we're going with it. We're not going to worry about it. All right, guys, so I am going to glue this down right in the center here so that we kind of have something on the front of our card and then this butterfly Kay doesn't have a butterfly there but I just thought this was too plain and let me see I think this is good so we're going to put this butterfly down just like that isn't that pretty that is really pretty and we might do some bling on that. And I'm trying to think of what I have that I could put there. I know I don't have a letter C. Hmm. That would be fun if I did. But you know what? I do know that I've got... I do know I've got a Tim Holtz C. I know I do. Let's see if we can get something that's just not too dark. I don't want anything that is going to be... I know I need some bling. Here is some bling. It's much tinier than I think what Kay used. No, but you know what? We could. Let's put some pearls on there. And letters. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Because it's pretty... Pretty vintage, you know, Tim Holtz is, he loves vintage, and so I think this may be just too, too vintage looking for this, but let's see if we can find a C. You're probably going to spot one way before I do. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're enjoying this series. It's really been fun for me to try and remake what others have made. Are y'all seeing a C? 
just can't be that hard. I see everything but. So my son, last night, he feels much better today, so don't be shocked when I tell you this, but last night he had 103.7 fever, and I'm like, your brain's cooking. There's a C, but that is way too dark. I'm like, your brain, that is so dangerous, but he took some meds and that fever broke, and today he feels much, much better. Yeah, that's just not, I didn't think it would work. I'm not liking that at all. So, what else could we put there? How about, let's see. You know, Tim Holtz is not big on pink. Every once in a while, you can get a little something something that might have some pink. should just have something there. Mm. Like I said, guys, it's vintage, vintage usually. Okay, we're going to move on. We'll come back to that. That's cute. Let me look just one second. That's green. That might work. We do a little layering. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. Don't have a C. And, yeah, not going to worry about that right now. So, um, let's put some pearls on, on this. Maybe these big ones. I like the big ones. Let me grab something to grab one with. just put three little dots of glue okay and I think the big pearls will be good so there's a pearl there's a pearl with a lot of glue coming out there's a pearl oh so pretty And this glue dries. This is, um, um, what am I trying to say? This is, um, you know, art glitter glue, so it will dry clear. So there is that. And then, isn't that cute? It really doesn't need anything, but a C, if I had had a C, would be so cute. That is beautiful. Okay, then when we flip this up, hopefully my pearls will stay in place. Kay had a, a piece of cardstock and a piece of lace layered with a heart and a butterfly with some bling. And I'm still trying to figure this out. I think that she added some string to that, but I'm not positive. My butterfly may not have any string. So I have, the only heart I had was that one. And this is my Martha Stewart butterfly. And this is my piece of cardstock. Okay, let me give you measurements for this, just in case you want to grab something and see what we're doing. You want it to be the same. This is a three and three quarters by five. Okay, so five across by three and three quarters high. Mine is probably a four by five. Yes, it's a four by five. Okay, so the band is going to be a, my band is going to be a five by two, I think. Yeah, five by two. And K's is, is uh, the same thing. 
whatever her width is, the band is, the width on the band is two inches. So we're gonna put that on here. And it is a belly band. She uh, has her letter in there. And so we are going to, I forgot to uh, put Brenda's, we did Brenda's project yesterday. Brenda, if you uh, go into your YouTube and search Brenda Clark, you will find Brenda's YouTube channel. I apologize for that. Okay, so there's our belly band. Are we straight? We're pretty straight. And then she had, Kay had a piece of ribbon, and I am going to go with this ribbon here. So we are going to use just a little bit of Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac or Beacons whatever you have that you like. Put that on here. You don't need much, just enough to adhere it down. And then of course, if it goes over the edges, all you have to do is trim it. So cute. Look at that, guys. It's just cute. You guys have so much talent. I love doing this. Okay, and then a heart. I wished I had a heart um, die cut. I'm going to have to go get some. I did order the, um, the squares. I ordered that yesterday. And this one was, this is Tim Holtz and it's Valentine. And you can see it's like got a heartbeat. So this is going to go on here like that and it pretty much covers up everything but because it is broken up like this I need to do it in uh, pieces so I'm going to kind of guesstimate do not want it sticking to my cardstock and I know I put glue at the top. Not smart, Charlotte. That was not smart. Okay guys, now we're going to make this fit. Hopefully with not too much trouble. I was going through my die cuts and I'm like, I have to organize these, but I'm not really sure I know how to do that. You know, you have one of so many that they don't really fit in any one category. So some people put them in a binder and maybe that's what I need to do. Let's see if I can get this. If there's a gap between heartbeats, I'm okay with that. I just kind of want my heart to go together. I mean, that looks good, right? Is that good? I hope so. Okay, so there's my heart. And here's my butterfly. I don't know if Kay cut, uh, cut that out of something. But this is my butterfly. And it looks like, is this flat? No. Okay. Okay, there's my butterfly. And then we need some bling. So cute, Kay. I love this paper here. And I love this butterfly. I don't know if you fussy cutted this. It is just so cute. Look at that, guys. Oh guys just you're so talented now I should I should I continue with pearls should there be I don't think there has to be I have this tiny little bling here that I really like so let's use this bling so we need I think we can cut this off 
Let's see. How many? Let's count these things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna cut this at seven. And um, keep my fingers crossed. And lay my glue down. Easy project, guys. Easy project. We all have scraps. If you don't have lace, washi tape. Pull your washi tape out. It would be beautiful. So let's talk about this. Let me get this down. And while we're waiting for this to dry, let's talk about what we can do if. Okay, I want to get this straight. Is it straight? I think so. So we all we all have scraps, okay? Not all of us have um, lace because not all of us deal with anything that's lace. So if you don't have lace, another scrap of um, paper would be beautiful. Um, washi tape would be beautiful. And um, ribbon, you could use ribbon. You, if you've got punches, you could punch a design that would go across there. So not, air conditioner's not fixed. Let me get a drink of water, guys. Excuse me, just for a second. Okay. Maybe you don't have hearts. Maybe you're like me. You don't have hearts. Circles, rectangles. If you can cut a heart, if you've got a little doily, how cute would that be? A scrap of lace. How about a, a piece of um, like a, a, a snippet or a stamp? Um, cut a design out and then maybe you don't have a butterfly. You don't need to have a butterfly. You could, if you cut like a circle, put a snippet of lace in there with a button. Oh my gosh, guys. Sew a button onto your lace or have layers of lace sew a button and glue that in there. I have this piece here. Look at how pretty that would have been. You just have to watch for if you've got any bulk, but a button would be flat. Look at how beautiful that would be. Same with here. Look at that. If we didn't have a butterfly and you just wanted to put a doily or a round circle, look at how pretty that is. So get your stuff out, play with it. Even a bow, just a ribbon bow with maybe um, a charm hanging off the center. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, okay? When I am making these, I am just taking what I have and trying to replicate what was given to me. But um, if you don't have these things, there's just so many th other things you could do. A stamp, you could put a piece of lace with a stamp in the center. So don't get caught up. Don't look at something like this and say, I can't do that. I don't have that. And uh, because, yeah, you do. You can do it. Just look around. Now the bottom of Kay's make... It's vellum. I'm pretty sure this is a piece of vellum with lace at the bottom. Isn't that cute? Heart lace. Okay, I don't have the vellum. So I took a piece of cardstock that I had left over. This measures an inch and a quarter. The piece of cardstock that I had, you can see it's the end piece. This is only an inch, so I'm missing a quarter, and I'm saying, that's okay. We're going to make this work. So this is going to go, let's see. We put lace on there. Do I want that? Or I think I want this. It matches this up here, but it doesn't have to. So we're going to put, it's a very shallow pocket, but that's okay. So we are going to glue the ends and we're going to glue the bottom just like that. Okay, so take and use what you have. 
make it work for you. And I had this piece left over and I thought, well, why not? This piece actually came from this. This was already, I got lucky. Um, I had the length for that. This was on top of here. So look at that. Okay, there is a pocket. Now, I am going to take, Kay did not match the laces. You can see she has this gorgeous um, heart lace here. I don't have any lace that looks like that, so I am going to use the same lace that I used up here, and we're gonna put it down here. Kay's hangs, hangs down just a little bit. If we turn this over to the back, you can see the lace down here. And she also let her lace hang off here. If you don't like that, that's not an issue. She wanted to get the full heart. You can cut yours off. That You know, it's your make. You do what you wanna do. So I'm gonna let this hang down and I am gonna cut this in between where it looks like it needs to be cut. And then we're gonna have, I'm sure, a little bit hanging over. And that's okay, just like Kay did. See that? It's gonna hang over a little bit. You don't like that? Cut that off. It's your make. So again, with the, what is this? Fabri-Tac. Fabri so we're gonna fabric tack this. I am at the end of this bottle. But as long as it keeps going, I'm gonna keep going. I might have to thin it down just a tiny bit. You thin fabric tack down with um, nail polish remover. Okay, we wanna remember, we wanna come a little bit below and have it hang over. So what do we look like on this side? Oop, are we there? Let's go a little bit more. Pull it down a little bit more. Look at that, okay. And like I said, if you don't like this, you can cut that off. I'm gonna leave it on because that's what Kay did. And now we're gonna look at the inside of this. This is what Kay sent. She wrote a beautiful note. Um, just thanking me. There's not anything on here that she, she um, used the, uh, an altered playing card, texture paste, she said it didn't turn out the way she wanted, but I look at it and think it's absolutely beautiful. I can't imagine how she wanted it to turn out any differently, but you know, each creator has their own idea of what they're gonna do. So this is the ephemera. Um, you can create any of this on your own. We don't need to do that on camera, but we are going to recreate this. So when I look at this, I think the texture paste looks beautiful. I love, love this vintage card. I think she took stickles and added this to the, uh, the dice. Did I call these? I think I called these dominoes. They're not dominoes, they're dice. So um, Kay, if you're watching in the comments, can you just let us know where you got these and the, and if this is a vintage card and maybe where you found your vintage cards, probably a thrift store or something like that. Pretty sure this trim has stickles and then she's got a piece of lace back here. I see absolutely nothing wrong with this texture paste. I think it's beautiful. I have to admit though, I am in love with those. I have never seen those anywhere. The patina on this card unless you've done something maybe you have put some um you, di you didn't use vellum but you may have used decoupage paper i don't know but that the the patina that you got is beautiful but 
don't ever apologize because this is so pretty. It is, it is beautiful. And I, I'm in love with these little cards. Just in love with that. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a, uh, maybe there's a uh, digital and you can shrink them down and have them have whatever you want. But let's, I've got my card here. And what I did is I took a sanding block, this right here from the dollar store. And because these, it is an Arizona playing card, isn't that so cool? There's the Roadrunners and uh, Swaro and different types of cactus here. And it says Arizona on it. I wanted to use that. She used the Three of Diamonds. So I pulled out the Three of Diamonds and I had to sand it because it's got this glossy finish and I learned the hard way a long time ago. If I um, decoupage anything to this surface here, it peels right off. The only way you could get that to stick is to go around and stitch the edges. If you do that, then you don't have to sand, but you could take an emery board. You don't have to have a sanding block. You could use an emery board or any type of light grit sandpaper because I want to keep some of the design. I want you to be able to see it. I can see kind of, I've roughed it up a little bit there, but you want to get the shiny part off because um, that's no bueno. It's just not going to stick. So let me grab the glue book. I really hope this is all making sense. I'm just having so much fun doing this, guys. Then we need some kind of Mod Podge. That's my preferred go-to. And you know, I have not pulled this out and used this in so long. And then I have a piece of, I got this, comes in a bunch. There's yards and yards of this tissue paper. If you go on to Amazon and you search for vintage tissue paper, this should come up. And let me see if I can easily grab it. I can show you. It comes, I mean, look at how much of this you get. I mean, it's gonna last you a lifetime. You know, this is it's a huge amount. And I, I can't, it was a couple years ago probably that I bought this, so I could never tell you what it cost. Maybe $9.99, maybe, maybe less. I don't know that I paid more than that, but I can't say for sure. So um, let's go ahead. And this is the closest thing I had. I had nothing that looked like this, okay? You know, in the comments, let us know what you used because um, I am sure I'm not the only one. And I don't think that you covered it. Maybe you did. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's curious. Especially those dice. I know, I kept calling them dominoes. What a fruit loop. <laughs> Sometimes I call my grandkids, I said, you're being a fruit loop today. What color are you? Are you purple? Are you pink? What color fruit loop are you? So Jenna, Jenna's sore throat's a little bit better, but she's not feeling well, but no fever. Amber, our daughter-in-law, no fever. Allie and Reed, not sick at all. So, okay. So there we go. And you can still, probably should have put the stamp over just a little bit so you could see the three, but I didn't. So we're not gonna worry about it. And then hopefully I can just tear this and it's gonna work just like that and don't throw this away because you can reuse it. You don't have to be perfect at tearing this. Sometimes when the edges show, it's better. So we have this and I am going to get out my dryer, my heat, heat it. It's pretty quiet, so um, just bear with me for just a second. Won't take long. 
We're just going to try to dry this so we can do our texture paste. And yes, it is curling up. That's okay. When everything's dry, you put this between heavy books and you're going to be good. So we need texture paste because I am thinking that's going to be the next um, layer is going to be that texture paste. So also love this design. I don't have that design. So let me grab a palette knife. Should have done that earlier. I apologize. I've got so much on my, I've got it in a caddy that rotates and I've got so much on my desk that, okay, so here's a palette knife. Here is the stencil that I pulled and texture paste, opaque matte texture paste. I've not used this in a long time, so hopefully we're going to be good. And she basically, Kay did, she had this, so Kay, okay, Kay had this, so basically just did that. So let me see, I don't have dice, let me really quick, I'm hoping I have some Artie Mays tickets. Remember when I showed you this? Let's see if we have something too small. Okay, there should be something in here. I should have done this before. That is a little bit long, but that will work. Or I don't want to cut it off. That's the same thing. So I think we're gonna use that. Yeah, let's use that ticket. I could keep hunting and hunting, but there really isn't any point in doing that. I'm happy with that. So, excuse my reach, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna use this. I think we're upside down. Yeah, we need to go like this. So I'm trying to figure out, it, I think Kay did the texture paste before she did the dice. So if we get our design, maybe this one right here is the most interesting. Hopefully y'all can see this. I can wipe off. That's the great thing about texture paste is you can wipe it off before it dries. So I think we can do that. That's going to work. Now hopefully I won't mess this up. Don't want too much. Don't need a lot. Okay, and we're going to swipe in one direction this way, like that. And I'm thinking that should work. So let's pick it up. Yes, that works. So let me really quickly get a cloth. Oh, if I had a cloth, where are you? Okay, well, that's what happens when you're not organized, Charlotte. Okay, let me get a scrap of paper because I have no idea where my wet ones are. So let's just wipe this as best we can. Tim Holtz always has a thing of water to put his stencils in. I'm just not that organized. So there we go. Okay, then we want to dry this. 
And I don't think I need this. So let's dry this. And I don't want to go around the edges with any distress ink because um, it's so pink and shabby looking that I just, I don't like the idea of trying to use distress ink. But let's, if you keep this on, your texture paste will puff up. I don't know if y'all know that. I kind of like it when it gets puffy. I think that's really kind of an extra bonus, but you don't want it to bubble and um, cook, so to speak. I don't know if you can tell this is puffed, this is puffed, this is not. And I think we're dry. Yep, so we can work with this. Um, it doesn't show up as much as this does because um, of the background. And do I have my, I'm like, where's my dauber? We could let's just do a little bit of There we go. That helps you see it. I think I've got a tiny bit there, but I didn't puff it up. I want you to be able to see it. Isn't that pretty? The darker we get, the less it's going to look to me. Well, you know what? It's an add-on. And I say an add-on, it's a piece of ephemera, not really a piece of the card. So, how about we do that? Well, we can just kind of, there we go. Okay, now we have our ticket. And our ticket, I don't want to cut anything off of the ticket. The ticket's not as thick as K's dice are. We need this right here and for that I pulled out this was something my mother had. I don't know why the corners cut. Isn't that funny? But it is. I wanted to use the Queen of Hearts just because it's the Queen of Hearts. I am guessing this is the Queen of Hearts, but I can't tell because it's covered up. I don't see any marking whatsoever. I don't know if that's a spade or a club. I can't tell, but it's a female, so I got out the Queen of Hearts, and I'm thinking that this is going to get cut. Okay, about right there. How high would that put that? Okay. So we're going to cut her off. Not like that. We're not going to throw this out. We'll use it for something else. Let's cut her straight or as straight as Charlotte can cut, which isn't very straight. And I know I have to cut this down. I don't want to lose the cue. And it looks like we're going to have to round it off. So if we do this, I'm cutting this right there. And I think, should we decoupage this as well? I think maybe. It might look better, but I don't I don't want to lose her. I'm not sure I know what to do with this. Let me let's sand her a little bit. Maybe we can make her look old. 
Let's see. Where's my dauber? Where did I put you? Maybe we can make this look old by just doing this. And let's round the corners. Give you patina. It's working. Look at that. It is working. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I'd say that's looking pretty old. Okay. So let's round this up quarter of an inch hopefully won't, will not be too much I don't think that was right there we go so we are going to create a pocket out of this okay so you know how this goes It's not a pocket, it's a tuck. I just remembered. I'm glad I remembered. It is a tuck, so that's the wrong side. We don't want glue there. We want glue on the outside. Like this. This would be cute if I took it to the sewing machine and we had stitching. It would be really cute. Let's turn this over. Am I good? I think I am. But K's is a tuck here. See that? A tuck, not a pocket. So this is unfortunately going to. She had this up. It is, if I put it like this, it is going to cover. Okay, let me let me check this again. Let's see if we can find something that is going to work better because I'm not real happy with that. Sorry guys, but I am not real happy with that. That's way too wide. We don't need... We just need something skinny. I don't want that. I don't want to cover her face. That would work. I could use. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. This is, um, these are Artie Mays. Just in case you're curious. This is one of her digitals. Ooh, I like that too. So, okay, we're going to stop there and see which one of these. This is Tim Holtz. It's 25. Not Artie Mays. Let's um, see which one of these we like the best. Nothing's easy. It never is. That's going to cover her face. That, I like that a lot. But that is going to cover her face. Let's see if I cut right down to the ticket on both sides. How much of her face we will have. And let's cut the top, because I know it's just a little bit too long. Okay, let's cut this. And then what do you think? I really do like that a lot. It we can see her face. I think that looks really, really good. I like that it's busy and it attracts the eye much more than this. So we are going to use this and I am going to just 
distress it. And I could put it up high so you not only see her face, but you also see the heart. Otherwise, we are going to lose half her face. And I think that works. Is it too high, do you think? I know I want it below this flower. So, where are we going to? I know we're going to go the bottom and up this side like that. And I think we'll put it like that. It's like, Charlotte, you don't have to be so funny about it. And this is glued all the way to the pocket. So this is the tuck. Let's put a little, little bit of glue right here so we're safe. And so then this literally would go in there like that. Oh, guys, it's just so cute. All right, then I don't have this. I don't know what I would want to do there. So um, I think I'm going to have to think about that. Put some kind of like little booklet. I don't like how sharp this edge is. And so, you know, I'm just going to, I just don't like, it's just sharp and I don't like that. So, um, Kay has got little pieces of lace, and I'm thinking, I don't know that I have lace like that. Do I have anything in here? I don't see anything in here. Let me go behind me. I don't have to get out of my chair, but let me see what I might have over here. to use. Um, it looks like all my pieces are big. Oh, I've got this. Remember this, guys? I've got that. And I've got this. Let's... I've got this. I think that'll work. Okay, let's work with that and see what we can do. Got that. This might work. All right. You know, the name of the game is work with what you have. We don't want to be running out and thinking we have to buy anything. Okay, so she has got, let's see what we want to do. I think I'm going to cut this flower out right here. This came from Angel Dreams Crafts Kim. really should have my cutting my fabric scissors not these but this is what I've got right here so okay let's see I mean look at how cute that is these little flowers isn't that adorable and then these leaves you know as I'm touching this this is texture paste this is not lace this is lace this is texture paste right there so I'm wondering if I think we should texture paste this like that because that is what she's done here is texture paste. Don't want to texture paste her face, but this right there 
All right, we're going to texture paste, guys, because that is, I just realized it. I thought it was lace, and it isn't. So, let's do this. Get that on there like that, without this, I think. So, we're going to do this. So we're going to wipe this off like that. Okay, I'm going to dry this and see if we're going to go. I think we want a little something here, but we could. Let's see. All right, let's dry this and see what we've got. So that's not bad, right? For noise. My other one is so loud. Okay, it's puffing up. You can see it puff up. Okay, it should be dry. I'm going to tap it just a tiny bit and see. I don't, I don't think the top is dry. Let's see. Tim Wolfs always says to dry from behind as well. Heat from the hind. I think we're good. Let's make sure we're dry. Feels dry. Okay, then do we want to Kay's got the texture paste coming over. It's not that big a deal. We could, but you know what? We don't have to. I'm not going to. I don't have the right stencil. If I had a stencil like the one Kay has, I would say let's do it. So that's it for the texture paste. Let me go ahead and... Um, bring this out so you can see it. I have to work with this because I don't have I don't have my um, ink pad. I, it's buried underneath all this stuff. You can feel it. You can't see it so much. You can feel it. Kay's got gold on it. You know, I do have some gold wax. Should we try it? Why not? Let's try it. That's what we're doing, right? So, I'm right here. I've got my waxes. I just have multiple waxes, so I'm looking. I need a really good cleanup, guys. Okay, we've got here white gold, I think, is what we need. We don't want blue velvet, and this is amethyst. We don't want that. So I think this is what we want. This is Prima. This stuff smells so good, it drives me literally crazy. I just love the scent of this stuff. It's nuts, just nuts. It's so soft and creamy. Can y'all see that? I don't know if Kay used wax. Can you see that shine? Can you see the difference? It's not gold gold like brilliant gold. What do you, what do y'all think? See that? It's a it's just really a rich if it brings out the texture paste. See that? If you don't have wax, ink, or leave it. 
You can use watercolors. You can use uh, gelatos or um, distress inks. Paint. Okay, I'm gonna say that's good. See that? Can you can you all see what that did? Aged it, and made it look really nice. So I am loving that. Thank you, Kay, so much. Thank you, thank you. With that, let me grab a drink of water. Now we are looking at a flower. That is way, way too... Too white. Too white. So we distress her a little bit and put that on there like that. Kay's flower look is they're pointed the way they should be. Maybe I'll split the difference and we'll go that way. How's that look? Okay. Then we just need something to go inside this little gem. And that's where my head right now is drawing a blank. So I wish I had some little mini playing cards, but I don't. this I am covering up the heart the Queen of Hearts but you can tell it is a Queen of Hearts and once again let's this might be a child's pack of cards this would go in here like this oh my goodness guys isn't that just so cute all right I am keeping this where it belongs this goes into case and um, the back of this is she's got a little bit of layers on the back of hers if I turn this over I don't want to cover anything up. I just think I like the cactus, I like the road runner. So I think I might just do that on mine. So it's lace, but it's my take my take on the card. Not wanting to mess up the desert. So, let me get this out of the way. Don't want to lose that. We'll use that for something. So, if we... This is right side up. Yep. Take and put this like that. You can still see everything. We'll see. this. I don't think this will stick. We'll see. We'll give it a try and see if it will stick. This is my take on Kay's make minus the ephemera that goes into it all. So I hope y'all will make this. Give it a try. It's really fun. It's really easy. And you don't have to have, I just think this is so adorable, but you don't have to have this. You can just take some cardstock and um, make a little mini book. Look at that. And that's so stinking cute. Guys, this is just cute. Kay, thank you. Thank you so much. This was truly 
really, really fun. And this will go in my shallow pocket, but it will, see, there you go, it fits right in there. So we just, we need more ephemera for there and we need something for our belly band. And there she is. I truly, truly hope that you enjoyed this make as much as I did. And uh, join me for tomorrow, please. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And a shout out to Kay, a thank you to Kay. Um, I really, really appreciate it. So far we have done Beverly, we have done Brenda Clark, and uh, we have done KD. So what a joy. Thank you ladies so, so much. Hugs, prayers for everybody that needs them. Take care. Bye, guys.